Hello, I'm Natalie Glaston from the Omna Sanctuary. This week's channeled message is from Archangel Metatron and it's entitled Your Timeline of Ascension. Greetings, beloved beings of light. I am Archangel Metatron. It is a joy to be present with you today. I bring forth my love and the sacred gifts of the angelic kingdom to shower over and through your being. We are present to serve you and to support you. We are here to assist you in your journey of ascension. We realize that many of you may be feeling frustrated at this time. You wish to recognize peace, love and truth upon the earth. You wish for yourself to transform, for others to transform and for Mother Earth to transform. You wish to experience the reality that you have come to the earth to experience. A heaven upon the earth. A divine expression of the creator in existence upon the earth. Many of you may be feeling frustrated. You may be feeling impatient. Or maybe disappointed that what you seek, what you know is occurring, doesn't seem to be manifesting at the speed you might like upon the earth. You wish to recognize and see the love that is present between each person being expressed and experienced upon the earth that every person is an expression of their divine creator self. And so beauty, magnificence, divinity, magic can be seen upon the earth. And yet at this time, it seems that chaos, negativity, hurt and pain are what you are seeing in the earth and the people around you and maybe also in your own being and again this can be immensely frustrating and it can create anger within your being we the angelic kingdom we wish for you to acknowledge that it is natural at this stage of ascension to experience frustration, disappointment and anger. If you are willing to recognize that that is what you are experiencing and to embrace those feelings in love as if you are cuddling, wrapping love around these feelings until they dissolve. Then you will recognize a new energy and a new perspective emerging from within your being. Your ascension process is within your being. Everything that you seek upon the earth, in others and also in yourself, is within you. The world that you wish to see and create is inside of you and it first begins inside of you and each individual will recognize this new reality within their beings. It will be present in your vibration in the energy that you radiate. You will begin to see 
your perspectives changing and shifting. You'll notice more love, more kindness, more peace in yourself and the world around you. And it is as if you are unfolding that new world from within your being. And every being is doing the same. Each person is at a different stage. And it might be that you are existing in this world of love and peace and others are not. And maybe you are existing side by side and that is perfectly fine. Everyone will reach the same stage. But the reality that you seek is inside of you. Don't expect the world around you to change or don't wait for the world around you to change. First, that sacred world must come from within your being, that sacred reality, the way that you wish to live your life and wish to see others experiencing their reality. When you radiate it out, you are allowing yourself to exist in that space. Others will do the same. Until everyone reaches the same level. This is your ascension timeline. It is personal to you. In truth, it has nothing to do with the outer world. And yet, your ascension timeline will influence the outer world. You will create a pocket of love and peace. And others will do the same. Gradually, these pockets of love and peace will overlap and overflow. And that's when there will be a tremendous boost in energy. And you yourself will find yourself soaring into higher vibrations of light and sacred experiences. The ascension of the earth and all the people around you is occurring. But what is most important is your ascension timeline. That is personal to you. It is time to create your goals. When you think of a new earth, a new reality for all, what do you also think of for yourself? How do you wish to live? How do you wish to be? What do you wish to radiate? Most importantly, rather than focusing on what you want in the outer world, Focus upon what you wish to experience in your inner world. How do you wish to feel in every moment? Do you wish to be an embodiment of love or bliss, peace, trust or truth or maybe a combination of all? Are there certain things that you wish to achieve within your being? Certain healing, certain skills that you wish to awaken? When you focus within, you're focusing upon your own personal timeline. You create goals, a destination for yourself. Knowing that you are already 
embodying your ascension and all that you seek. And it is simply a process of you recognizing all that you seek within your being. When you focus upon this, your reality shifts. Everything shifts, even the earth, even Mother Earth and those upon her. And yes, you may still recognize chaos, pain and wounding upon the earth. Recognize that some things need to be resolved, released and understood. And as you focus on your own personal ascension, you will have a new perspective of viewing yourself and the earth that will not only serve you, but will serve all. It may feel as if you're being selfish to focus upon your own inner ascension. But everything that you seek and everything that others seek comes from within one's being. If you demonstrate this, others will follow, even if you do not speak with them. They are sensitive to your energy and to your focus. Each and every being is connected and experiences a oneness. This is also something that you can focus upon. It simply requires a realization. Ask to experience the oneness that you hold within your being with all. The greatest, purest oneness. And it will come. Your realizations of yourself and your ascension within your being are your power. They are more powerful and more impactful than anything else. So your ascension timeline is immensely important. And you can encourage the same within others. I am Archangel Metatron. I thank you for your presence with me today. Thank you everyone for being present with me today as I channel and also thank you to Archangel Metatron. Felt like a very powerful and very um, forthcoming channeling, inviting us to really connect within our beings. So enjoy your week with Archangel Metatron and the Angelic Kingdom as they support you. I won't be here next week, but I will be here the week after. So I will see you then. Bye.